Okay, so this is probably my little, little last video for the day here because I am gonna be like cleaning my room and doing laundry and fucking all of those things. And when I get into that mode, I like to be focused and I like to, I focus way more on laundry <laughs> and folding than I do on my homework. It's a problem, folks. Um, I'm kind of torn between... I'm just going to fucking roll a joint. I feel like smoking a bowl is... Smoking, smoking bowl after bowl, you feel like you're, like, saving weed and conserving it. But realistically, like, if you just smoke one joint, that's probably the same amount of bowls you're going to fucking smoke anyways. And then you can just have, like, a nice, like, you know, chill high versus, like... I don't know. I don't know how clean your guys' pipes are, but sometimes you have, like, that ashy taste and you're just like... Ugh. I need to clean my fucking pipes, like, every couple of fucking weeks and if I don't it gets real fucking nasty and then it takes fucking forever to clean out too so these are all the things I was just thinking how within the past three years I started smoking weed again not that I like stopped smoking weed but I was just dabbing wax for how long like literally from like probably 2013 yeah probably from 2013 to like 2000. 18. I was just like strictly fucking dabs. And then when I came to live in the Bay again, um, after I left my fucking ex, uh, no one out here fucking was dabbing. And I'm like, you guys are fucking lame. And it's like, well, I didn't like have a nectar collector at the time and everyone just smoked weed. So I just jumped back on the bandwagon. And there's also something about like rolling up. You know what I'm saying? I don't roll joints because I don't know. I've tried and like, I need to put a crutch in there and it's just not an easy thing for me, but I can roll the fuck out of a blunt, my friend and a blunt wrap. So these are my specialties. Um, and so the cones are pretty much the best things ever. These little OCB cones right here. They're pretty legit. Um, I don't know, the raw cones are kind of thick, so those are my go-to, and they're the most convenient ones at my fucking convenience store, so these are a thing. Um, but anyways, yeah, I used to fucking dab all the time, and, like, I kind of miss it, because realistically, like, they say I dab will do ya, but for me it's about, like, five or six of them, <laughs> and then, and then it will do ya, and then you are good, and I feel like that takes less time than, like, the process of breaking down trees and my grinder is super fucking dirty right now so it's like not super effective <laughs> i have to fucking twist a lot um but yeah i don't know i used to have an extra collector it was super convenient i still have one at my house in la but i mean i don't know that's just where it's at right now it's not here so i don't buy any wax but anyways, that was a random thought. Because my friend was talking to me, and I was like, hey, so d did you dab? Was dabbing a thing? I got my fucking window fixed on my car. And, uh, got my window fixed on my car today, and my fucking air filter changed in my shit. So it was like, you know, I got a little bit of things accomplished. Um, but anyways, I asked him if he fucking dabs, and he was like, I can't. That shit kills my fucking lungs. And I'm like, well, when did you do it? He was like, oh, fucking, I don't know, years ago and shit like that. And I'm like, yeah, think about it. Back when I started dabbing, like, the wax that I was getting, it was not none of this clear diamonds and shit that you're seeing now. Like, it was dark, and, um, you know, like, it may not have been the greatest, um, but it was definitely getting me fucking ripped back then. And I was like, you gotta remove the plant matter, right? Because, like, who needs to be really smoking all these extra carcinogens? Like, you really don't. So, dabbing is really the way to go. And I plan on getting back into it when I'm, like, at my house. Because, like, just, like, having shit around like this, like, my space here is limited, you know? It's not an easy fucking thing. But my house in LA is really quite a beautiful fucking place. And I, like, can't wait to live there. We picked out all the colors for the rooms. My living room is lavender. And my den is, like, a gray slate color. I don't fucking know why it's that color. My hallway is lavender. My kid's room is, like, a, like a light lime green color. And our room is, like, a nice seafoam color because that's what I wanted. And it matches my fucking bedspread, which is also seafoam. Um, and turquoise and like a bunch of dope colors. I got it from Society6 because I support independent artists and I was very happy with that. So, um, that's a thing.
Maybe I'll fucking post a picture and do the whole in the link fucking type shit that they do. Um, but I'm not super up and familiar on like content and how to do shit like that. Um, so yeah. So today I read like 10 pages into my fucking 30 page chapter and I think I'm going to do the rest of that. Um, or try to do the rest of that tonight. If I don't, I'm going to finish just fucking, like, cleaning my room and doing the laundry and shit like that. Because tomorrow is a new day. And if my room is clean and my space is clean, then I will feel better about doing my fucking homework in there. Um, because that also is where I'm at. <laughs> so, that's pretty much it today, you guys. I have been feeling just, like, super mentally exhausted. I've been feeling super burnt out on school. Like, maybe it's because I'm only one semester away and I'm already halfway done with this semester. But, like, fuck, like, I haven't had any urge or motivation to, like, read these chapters. Like, I'm skimming through these things. Like, I haven't been worried about getting fucking, like, A's on tests or, or A's on my quizzes or anything. And it's just, like, you need to care just a little bit here, bitch. Like, get it together. Um, I mean, I'm passing all my fucking classes. I've had fucking A's and, like, or, like, A's and high B's for the majority of my fucking classes these, this last year. And, like, I'm just super stoked that I actually fucking have been doing it and getting it done. And I fucking tell myself, like, when I'm in the class or when I'm reading, like, this is all just training for work, right? This is just a long ass training fucking session for work. Like the longest training I've ever done for a job has been three fucking weeks. And in those three weeks, I learned how to do like Photoshop and all sorts of things. Um, fucking like how to basically assist graphic designers and fucking telling people their artwork is incorrect and fucking talking about fucking borders and bleeds and fucking, uh, what is it? Uh, CMYK color fucking mode and fucking what you see on your screen is the same and like just a bunch of shit and how fucking word and fucking publisher are not fucking graphic design fucking uh, like, software, you know what I mean? Like, oh, they're like, well, can I just submit my fucking PowerPoint? Like, no, motherfuckers, I need a fucking PDF with fucking flattened files. Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, so that was the longest training that I've ever gone through. So this whole, like, year and a half of training that I've been doing so far, yeah, dude, it's tough, and it's, like, really, um, really fucking, what is the word? Um, really challenging for someone who hasn't been in school in fucking 20, 20 years. Straight up, I dropped out of high school when I was in, like, ninth grade. True story. Dropped out of high school in ninth grade, thought I was gonna die of, like, a drug overdose by 18, and, like, lived my fucking life the fuck up. But I'm thankful that I did that, because, you know what, like, I have a bunch of bitches out here that had a bunch of kids hella fucking early who didn't live their lives, and who are some pretty fucking shitty fucking parents, let me tell you. Like... Oh, man, doing some fucked up shit to their fucking kids and putting them in fucked up situations and, like, traumatizing them for the rest of their fucking lives. Like, no, dude. I never did that, did that because once I decided to, like, be a mom, like, that was it. I don't need to party. Like, my friends had my fucking party life from, like, the age of 12 to 19. <laughs> everything after that was, like, for my kids, and that doesn't mean that you can't have, like, a work-life balance, party balance, you know what I'm saying, like, I still party, I still hang, I still socialize, um, it's just not, like, a priority for me, you know what I'm saying, it's called growing up and maturing bitches, <laughs> it's just what happens, I'm super congested right now, and my friend fucking Mark said that he wants to chat on Duo, and I'm actually gonna do that, because he's my friend from Connecticut, it's fucking late over there, um, and I don't really get to talk to him that often, We've been friends since I was, like, fucking 12 years old. Met him in, like, an AOL chat room. Like, <sighs> that is a story for another time, my friends. So you guys have a super soul evening. And fucking tomorrow's Monday. Make the fucking best of it. Be happy you're alive. Living your fucking life. Like, <sighs> doing whatever you do, folks. <laughs> dun, dun. Later, guys. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs>